main ingredients of beer is yeast, water, grain, and hops most of the time. And yeast just has that transformative ability, the fermentation, it's going to continue to go. It's just everywhere here. It's a good place to be. It's fellowship uh, with people, which, man, last year's been hard with that. It's, it's been great to start opening back up. I think a lot of people think we sit around and drink beer all day, every day. For the vast majority of places, it's, it's industrial work. It's dragging hoses, it's getting splashed with yeast and beer and, and water. There's a little art, there's a little science. No, it's totally true. I mean, I feel I've met more than any other folks Chemistry majors and English majors. Chemistry majors tend to do beers that are very you know, precise, and English majors tend to you know, kind of figuratively cut their ear off and do some of these, these wild beers. If we're gonna take a look into the world of beer, where better to start than a place that's known for making a traditional brew? So Altstadt is like a traditional German brewery, but we're just out here in the Texas Hill Country. And we're very obsessed with the German thing. Like all of our equipment for the most part is comes from Germany and was even installed by German workers who came over. We wanna do make that, but make it as high quality as we can and as close to like the German tradition as we can. This is John Vance. He does quality control for Allstadt Brewing. For him and all those making beer here, it's about sticking with tradition. There are some places that do, you know, German styles of beer and then they have fun with it and they, they dry hop it or, you know, they add fruit additions or, or other flavor additions like that. But for us, it's very important that we stick, you know, pretty true to like traditional German standards and we follow Reinheinsgebot, which is the German beer purity law. But yeah, we get all of our, our barley, our, our malt, the, the grain that becomes the sugar that eventually becomes the alcohol in the beer and forms the body and a lot of the color. We get all of that shipped over from Germany. We get all of our hops from Germany. All of those grains mixed in tanks where the sugar is pulled out, then in large containers, it ferments for anywhere from a couple weeks to a couple months. We don't really do anything too crazy or too weird. It's, you know, it's, we want to make German beer. But other breweries in Central Texas put their own twists on things. Once you kind of learn the science and like what the different ingredients do, you get to make something that's yours and, and wholly yours uh, from the ground up. We, we're definitely a hop forward brewery, I think. That's where you can really get creative uh, and change what a beer is just based on the hop. So yeah, we do a little everything. Chance Patrick is the head brewer at Austin Beer Works. Located in North Austin, the brewery's been around for 10 years. And they say in that decade, drinkers' tastes have changed. We've had to evaluate what we're making because when we first started, we made what we wanted to drink. But it's beyond just beer. You're looking at the beverage industry as a whole and you're seeing cocktails going into cans and hard sparkling water and kombucha and all this stuff. And it's something that you have to take into account because we're all competing for the same shelf space. And we've got to make something that keeps us afloat or a business, uh, unfortunately. So we still get to make that on the small batch system, but sometimes with the bigger beers, we have to focus on what the market is trending towards a little bit. Um, we always kind of put our own little spin on it and try not to lean into it too hard. Keeping their own spin going on beers, playing with hops to add new flavors. So there's a little bit of art. Uh, you take that art and turn it into science and get a cool beer out of it. And some breweries take that art seriously. It's beer that really tries to represent our land, represent the seasonality, uh, represent the people who, who, who make it, kind of the confluence of, we like to say, time, place, and, and people. You know, we're kind of more companion to the beer versus, you know, controlling every aspect to have mastery over it. Jeff Stuffing started Jester King Brewery in 2007. According to the Brewers Association, Texas was home to just 59 breweries in 2011. Now, it's home to more than 350. We were the 11th brewery in modern history to open in Texas, which is kind of cool. I mean, now there's, I think, we're coming up on about 400. They specialize in farmhouse beers, a centuries old style many haven't heard of before. It's wild fermentation. So for, and by the way, just as a caveat, I would say this is not better or worse, but it's different. When we start off a batch, every batch is gonna be a little different based on the microflora that's that's in the mix. We harvest yeast from the air, we harvest yeast from the land. It's kind of like rolling dice down, you know, bumper lanes. Like it's not totally wild. Like we're creating like an avenue for the beer to go, but there is still that very like random nature of it. And that's fascinating to us. Barrel aging, natural fermentation and a cool ship. Many things other breweries don't try and something that makes them 
difference. Thinking of, you know, like Beer Works and Allstadt, you know, they're, they're putting into the bottle something that they're, you know, you know I, I think I could say this for them, you know, very, very proud of that they want to present, where we're putting something in the bottle that is still a work in progress. It's a really good community. There's a lot of like really cool people who come from, you know, there's former lawyers and engineers and cops and just about every other profession. Someone has given that up and decided to get into beer. Just the growth from the get-go was exponential. The industry changes very fast, it grows very fast. It's still a relatively young industry. To me, beer is the ultimate social beverage. Like, I love spirits and wine and drink them probably every week, but um, to me, like if I'm gonna get together with friends or family, like I wanna be drinking beer because I can hang out with them for like four hours and still be conversive. Yeah, give me a cold beer and I'm happy. <laughs> In Central Texas, I'm Hank Cavanero.